Well, my name is Manoj and today I will walk you through the migration process. In this demo, we will look at how we can migrate Fortinet Firewall to a Cisco Secure Threat Defense Firewall using Firewall Migration Tool. Here are a couple of prerequisites please ensure before you begin. First, please do ensure that the FMC version is 6.2.3 or later. For best user experience, kindly use Cisco suggested release for your FMC and FTD. Second, create a dedicated user account with administrative privileges for the FMT specific. Do not use local accounts since FMT tool keep acting session with FMC throughout conversion process. Third, get export configuration file from Fortinet firewall in .config or .mix format. FMT also out accept output from CLI or GUI exported configuration. Ensure you are not uploading hand coded configuration. The last, if the source Fortinet firewall contains port channel slash aggregate interfaces, create similar port channel on FMC. Then the tool creates sub interfaces automatically. Once you log into the tool, it displays various vendors that it support, like Cisco ASA, Palo Alto, Checkpoint, Fortinet, and so on. In our case, we'll be focusing on Fortinet. And page gives you pre migration instruction, which we already discussed. We can start migration. We already downloaded the configuration or extracted from the Fortinet. Let's upload the source configuration exported from the device and tool displays the different components that are available for migration with summary. Summary like number of access control list, NAT statement, port object, static routes, logical interfaces and network address translation. Let me go ahead and hit next option. Tool gives the opportunity to select FMC platform, on-prem or cloud delivered FMC. In our case, we'll be focusing on on-prem FMC. Provide the address of the target firepower management center and enter login. And the tool connects to the device and provides list of different FTD devices that are registered to it. Here you find two options, select FTD device and proceed without FTD. If you want to migrate device level configuration like interfaces, routes and so on, then please proceed with FTD. In case if you just want to migrate shared configuration like objects, NAT, ACL and so on, then please choose an option proceed without FTD. So in our case, we'll be going with FTD. Pick one FTD and click proceed. And then the tool displays the different features that are available for migration for users to make a choice. Tool also gives the opportunity to optimize objects. As you continue with this check mark that the tool migrates only reference objects. Click on proceed and hit start conversion. Once it complete, tool displays a summary of the different components that will be migrated and provides detailed pre-migration report. Let me go ahead and click download report. Key migration report contains summary of the different features that will be migrated lines with errors, unsupported configuration, partially supported configuration, as well as ignored configuration. Let's go back to firewall migration tool and hit next option. Next, map the interfaces from the source configuration to interfaces that are available. So I'm proceeding here as it is. Let me go ahead and hit next option. Following this, map zones that are present in the source config with security zones on the target FTD. We have the option to auto create the zones by the tool. Click on auto create. Hit next option. In this review and validate section, tool lists the different access rules, objects, NAT, interfaces, routes that were migrated from the configuration of Fortinet. Tool provides opportunity not only change rule action but also provides or add additional security like if you want to turn on IPS, file policy or want to enable log at the end of connection, you can certainly do that following this option. Similarly, we can rename the objects in the object tab. Tool gives the opportunity to change before you import. So it very nice and clean and easy way of getting this access control entries out of Fortinet and add additional layer of security. Let me go ahead and click on validate. Then the tool displays validation summary and once you hit push configuration, then the tool push to the FMC. While push in progress, refer FMT terminal to monitor the migration status. 
I will provide the summary of the different components that are migrated and provides detailed post-migration report which also contains summary as well as the features that were enabled for migration. We can log into the Firepower Management Center and review the access policy that are created. And rules that have been created as per the report. We can verify the interfaces, objects and network address translation similarly. Once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and click. I hope this was informative covering end-to-end -end migration. Thank you.